Hello everyone, welcome to the second part of our series Web Game Development. In this video, we are going to look at the structure of our game engine. First of all, I want to tell you that we are going to use ea 6 modules for our game engine because we want our code to be as independent as possible. Let's say we want to change from canvas to WebGL at some point and we only care about the code that do the drawing stuff so we don't mess with the other classes. That's the main reason we are going to use ea 6 modules. And as for our game engine structure, it kind of follow of a tree structure. On the top root node, we are going to have a game class which contains all the scenes which are nothing but levels. And each scene would have objects. Objects are nothing but players, enemies and obstacles. So each object would have the components, the components like renderer where we are able to see the player, the sprites or just rectangle, everything else renderable. And it also have a physics component which react with the environment and it may have an event handler like we can drag and drop the stuff in the scene. So that's going to be our game engine structure. Quite simple and very effective. Let's look at our folder structure. We have a source folder which is going to have all our modules and we have a folder called tests. In the test folder we are constantly testing our modules we made one after the other let's say we have a loader module which loads all of the assets that are going to be need for the game it will be look uh, something like this first we create a javascript file for the module and we export the loader class as a default export from this module and we import the loader class whenever we need Cool, right? That's it for this video, guys. See you in the next video.